Yo, what's up there guys? This is Immersive Game 83 and thank you for stopping by today because today we are messing with a crazy messed up VR version of Monster Hunter Troy and that is on the Nintendo Wii emulator which is the Dolphin VR emulator. Um, this is far from <laughs> far from, from right but I just wanted to show you what I've got so far with regards to the settings and stuff and actually getting it to render. At the minute, um, you have like all sorts of menus double popping in, so I've got it set at the point where I can move my head forward. So I'm sitting leaning right back, so if I move my head forward, I actually go through the menu and into the game. So it's the only way I could get around the crazy menus. All sorts of stuff don't render right. But come on, man. He looks crazy, he ain't got a face, he ain't got no arms, he ain't got no skin. But this looks fucking so cool, look. I'm actually... I've got to chat some shit to Skeezer, and for some of the minute I can't read what he's saying. This must be on some sort of like, crazy menu. But anyway, I've got it sort of rendered to a point now where I can move around and stuff. It is actually lagging a little bit as well. I'm not sure. Or well, maybe it's for here. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's a bit crazy. And like with this shit, you can read what he's saying. Look. So it basically tells you how to how to play. And then I'm out in the world. Look. And it's really done quite nice. Look at that. Look at the state of that, man. Look at that. It's rendering 1080p. Oh. Alright, so, ah, before I forget, there's something I need to tell you about, that shit. So, I, what I don't quite get is why some of the things work and some of the things don't work. I'll see if I can just modify views. Look, this man, look, he ain't got nothing. He's just got, like, some creepy fucking eyes, look. No face. <laughs> so, hopefully we'll get that sorted out, but for now, it's probably the best we can do. I didn't think I'd actually enjoy playing a third person game with the Oculus Rift, but this is actually pretty good. It's really interesting though, just, just seeing some of the environments that, you, that I always thought you know, were, were made just for a flat representation. I know we've still got a long way to go getting this right with regards to the views and stuff, but, you know, we'll see what we can do anyway. And the buttons, I've got them mapped to a Razor Hydra, so I'm still trying to work out what the buttons translate as. Like the old Wii. Whoa, hang on. What happened here? I'm not sure what even happened there, guys. But we're back anyway. Ooh. Don't know what happened there. Oh, hang on. Oh, there we go. That's what happened. My man's chatting shit to me. Cool. That looks really cool as well.
anyway guys this is just a, a tech demo a demonstration just to let you know that we can eventually get this game running uh, would be nice to have Stay at that 3D there. Whoa. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> to be honest, he's actually pretty massive. He's probably too big. Or maybe my scaling needs to be off higher, maybe? Actually, yeah, that looks more right. He looks normal. A bit, more, bit better scale there. What about perception really? I mean right now he looks like a toy, same height as you. You look like a child, he looks like a giant. So it's all about where you're standing from really, isn't it? Anyway, this is uh, Immersive Game 83. I hope you like this demo and uh, are interested in some future developments. I'll, I'll keep trying to get better at sorting out uh, the settings and hopefully we can get him to render correctly. And uh, fair play to the developer who made this. This is brilliant. I mean, just look, um, before I go, I'm going to have a quick look over here. Check out the waterfall, man. So, that's Immersive Gamer 83. Out.